stanza 3 if strolling forth strolling means walking casually forth means forward if strolling forth a beast you may you view whose hide with spots is peppered the poet says that while walking forward in the jungle you may also view you may also see an animal whose hide hide means skin whose skin is peppered with you know what is pepper pepper is kali mirch sometime you sprinkle spread kali mirch on your food so animal skin is peppered that animal skin has spots as soon as he has leapt on you you'll know it is leopard as soon as the animal leaps the animal jumps on you identify that it is leopard twill twill means it will twill is full form of it will twill do no good to roar with pain he'll only leap and leap again in such situation there will be no use to cry a leopard enjoys when its prey cries in pain and it leaps jumps again and again the poetic devices which have been used here are alliteration repetition of her sound in line 3 poetic license spelling has been changed by the poet to make it rhyme with other words lept it should be l e a p t but the poet has used l e p t then lep it should be leap otherwise l e a p but the poet has used only l e p then we have repetition of lep word then we have assonance repetition of vowel sound o in line 1 3 and 5 then we have consonance repetition of sir sound in line 3 now stanza 4 if you are walking round your yard you meet a creature there who hugs you very very hard be sure it is a bear in this stanza the poet says that sometimes while walking casually around or in your courtyard you may meet a creature who hugs you very very hard very tightly if it does so be sure that it is a bear if you have any doubts i guess he'll give you just one more caress it hugs a person again if a person is not sure of this animal's identity though the poet has used the word caress but it means a slap or swat of the bear now the poetic devices which have been used here are enjambment no punctuation after fourth and fifth line then we have alliteration repetition of her sound in first line repetition of her sound then we have assonance repetition of vowel sound e in line second 